So um, I'm happy to see or not see, just see the signs of everyone who are here at the uh, presentation about the Finance Master Program. My name is Daniel Havron. I'm the program director currently, and I'm associate professor at the Institute of Finance. And together with me, uh, uh, there is uh, Professor Bihari, who teaches investments and many of quantitative courses during uh, the two years. And one of the current students here is Xing Lin, uh, who also can uh, give some expressions about the program. And yeah, the students are coming, it's good. And maybe there is another student among us, but later I, I, I would invite him. So um, let's continue. And what is the finance program and how can we how can we describe it? So I just prepared because yeah, I am, would like to borrow a Chinese proverb, a saying. It sounds that a journey at a thousand miles starts with the first step. Is it a, is it originally a Chinese saying, Xinguin? Yeah, did, yeah, yes. Did you hear yes. it? So I yeah, would like yes. to talk about the first step of a long journey, and this could be the finance master program. This program offers a long uh, business and academic career for you if you start to do it. In terms of uh, many op op it creates many opportunity opportunities not only in 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 the local manner but in globally. Um, if you are related to topics like designing cash flows, pricing assets, or managing assets on capital markets, evaluating risk, especially financial risk, using financial data analysis or just uh, using any kind of business applications, then you are a good, on a good track. Uh, and the topics are much more than, than are here, just it is just for tested. Uh, let's to talk about uh, uh, what is the program content-wise, and then I'm gonna talk about some other questions related to, to the two years. So it is a two years program and uh, usually when the students are uh, arriving here, then they would like to know what are the main uh, courses and what do need to um, learn here. So let me start with this. Uh, I would like to say that uh, there are a bunch of kind of um, courses like in the bachelor or other masters. So, but the specialty is that there is a bunch of criterium courses or criteria courses. It, they called fundamentals of statistics, for mathematics, programming and financial markets. This is new and in the new program we offer these four courses in the first quarter. It means that we expect that all of the students who are coming to Finance Master have already has have uh, possessed these uh, knowledges I mean uh, the fundamentals of statistics, mathematics, and so on. If not, then you can learn and catch up yourself during the first quarter. I would say it's flexible. So uh, if someone proves to us having a small a, a test in, in, in September that, uh, that uh, commands these knowledges that it, it can be skipped, but it's uh, anyway, it's a very useful thing. Let's jump to the course courses. You can see six core courses in the first year. So this is for the basics. Um, one for monetary economics, which is uh, uh, relates to monetary finance and public finance. One for mathematics for finance, which is probability theory and and other applications in mathematics which are related to finance. Financial law, because, you know, without a law, uh, legal knowledge, uh, it's it, it very dangerous to be in the financial sector. Financial economics, which is a, a very deep theoretical course about the economic concept, what do you have in finance? 
econometrics in finance this is the course which helps to you how to deal with data and uh, apply cross-sectional and time series uh, methodologies in finance and causality analysis causality analysis in finance which is belongs to the question uh, if you want to measure an effect on a treatment policy or a decision how can you do it with data so the, the six core uh, subjects are are um, i would say they are very 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 important and 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 maybe difficult, difficult uh, uh, subjects in the first part of, of the quarters, but uh, they can be useful. We have three core finance uh, subjects, meaning that th these are that we think as teachers, professors, as the most finance courses overall in the first year. One is for investments. The second is banking. And the third one is risk management and financial institutions. If someone knows these courses very well, then uh, it will be successful in the all master uh, level. And we have also, uh, of, we offer also compulsory elective courses in the first year related, uh, yeah, uh, like behavioral finance, Introduction to Computer Science and Business Communication in Finance. There are more compulsory electives in the whole two years, in the whole program, but in the first year these are the offered ones. And I have to say that uh, uh, you, you don't need to learn all of that, but you need to pick up one or two uh, subjects. And uh, we have general uh, subjects in the second year. Business intelligence, which is another approach, how to do uh, deal with data. Ethics and green finance, it's uh, obviously the most recent and the most important part, how to think in finance in the last decade. And we also have core finance uh, uh, subject here. It's one for the applied business valuation, or sometimes it's called corporate valuation, and the other is the international corporate finance, which is an advanced level of you learn, maybe you learned some corporate finance before. I have to say that you should work, learn it in the master, uh, bachelor level. And also we offer the compulsory electives. So these subjects are the general part of the whole story. And uh, yeah, and I have to, sorry, I have to highlight one of the compulsory electives, Students Managed Investment Fund, which is could be a very good example how can we manage uh, it's uh, uh, the practical knowledge and and the theoretical knowledge it is change uh, and it's entirely new in this sense because the students are in the FinLab, a finance laboratory using bloomberg and technically they manage uh, a simulated investment fund for the whole course and in that case, they can apply all of the theoretical knowledge, the statistics, and, and their management skills to carry out our portfolio. So this is the first part. I'm just, uh, 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 shall I go further? Or do you have any questions right now? Just to stop a little bit. Maybe I just jump it into the, into the, the stuff. Let me go further and you can uh, just uh, shake your hand if you have one, have some questions. On the second, that I have to talk about the specializations, which is also new. Uh, in the former pro English uh, programs, we didn't offer specializations, but in the Hungarian programs we offer. And we extend the curriculum with these specializations. One is for corporate finance. And one is uh, that it's called investment analyst. The corporate finance uh, curriculum is for those who would like to work in a corporate uh, side of uh, the corporate sector or banking sector, but on the corporate finance department, which means uh, they uh, know a little bit more on controlling, accounting, 
uh, and how to manage international uh, the dual things in corporate finance line i mean debt financing and firm financing at international level and the second one is uh, offered for those who like the capital markets better they would like to know more on derivative pricing, which is related to the quantitative finance course. Uh, they would like to more know more on trading, or risk management on trading, and and dealing with specific uh, you know, assets like fixed income or equity markets. Um, and these usually both of the specializations are offered to the students. There is um, a competition um, between this among the students, so the we have an order, and uh, you approximately the same uh, in the the we admit the students for the specialization around the, in the same number. It, it depends on the on on all, of course it depends on the preferences, but we we like to offer uh, in. Uh, in the same number. Let's go further. Uh, I would like to highlight that um, the teachers are demanding, but the, they are very encouraged the students to be very professional, both in theoretic and both in practitional way. So the demanding part is just they know they are demanding because they know what are the standards in in the academics part of the financial topics and what are the standards for the business. Uh, and those, uh, we have many uh, homeworks during the courses, exams, sometimes oral exams and and the student competitions. And this is all, they are also popular. You can see here one is our one of uh, in in the best innovation in the last decade, which is the financial laboratory, uh, who are from the Corvinus. Uh, maybe you learned it and just tried out it. So we have a computer rooms with twelve um, more than twelve Bloomberg uh, um, computer, and we have also access for Icon. Uh, software and, and Moodles, Moodles, Mood, Moody's um, um, databases. Why am I highlighting this? I'm highlighting this because if you want to measure or analyze uh, something in finance, you need the data and you need the, 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 the real data and you need to also feel what's going on the market. So uh, this is a good way how to get closer. We also have uh, lab computers here. You can book it, and there are uh, three terminals uh, in room uh, in in the room in the salt house, which is another place. Um, I would like to highlight that there are many opportunities to the stories without uh, going to detail. So the wall finance master program is uh, has is recognized by the CFE so the chief financial analyst uh, uh, association and in each September you can join the stock analysis competition and we also uh, CFE also offer some scholarships for for making uh, the CFE exams we also highly support uh, the, 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 to go for abroad. Uh, if you are not stipendium students, you can go for abroad in, uh, with SAMS. Uh, we have a double degree program for Prussia University, and we are planning to do with other uh, universities and business schools in the close future. And we also we have uh, scholarships for going abroad. Um, I have to mention that we respect having jobs or other activities, but this is the program that we ask the students that the university must be ranked at first. So uh, usually more than 60% of the students 
have a workplace during the uh, during the program but all of them they know that they have it be it could be a challenging story with this and they need to feel, fulfill all the requirements to for what is needed for learning for the course because it is the students investments so these investments have only the you can only gain a high return on this investment if you put your effort and i also have to highlight that ethics from all aspects are very important to us uh, uh, how to behave how to write an academic homework or a thesis so it's also sort of variable of course i don't need to mention that in finance ethics also a, a, a key issue or should be at least so um, in the last year also we had this sam's um, um, opportunity and uh, uh, the application period in the last uh, year was in november and uh, in the next year, year when you are coming it, it could be also the two deadlines november and january and beyond the courses uh, if we have a chance and not the, we have no covid time and so on we are uh, the offering many um, social um, social programs or, or not any not only social but uh, but students competitions like uh, uh, trading simulator games or case study uh, uh, competitions but we also organize um, uh, parties and school team team trips to get closer together because you know being a student is not only just the just to learn a book or calculate and prepare for exam but it's a network it's uh, it's about people the young people and it's about to uh, uh, us how to how to if you want to manage your future that you need to know and you, you need to have a network and you need to know the others because this will they will be the, your uh, colleagues in the future in the on the capital markets uh, and let me just say some sentences about the structure. Uh, this program is offered by the Institute of Finance. Uh, the head of the Institute of Finance is Kata Varadi, and we have three departments, Corporate Finance, Investment and Macrofinance. Uh, you can find us at finance.unicorvinus.edu. Uh, we have also a Facebook uh, uh, link and the most important uh, is about uh, uh, about uh, the secretary and the chief secretary is margit hoynal who helps us in many many ways and helps the students in many ways and i also uh, keep touch with uh, the students with the uh, teams and and you can see and find us in the main building if you are having here uh, in the university, you can find us in the second floor and the and the main building. Um, let's see. Do I have under? Yeah, that's all. I have I have these slides for today. Quickly, maybe I missed many points. So I'm just asking you. At first, I'm asking the pro uh, Jolt Bihari professor. Do you have any any things that you need to ask me? to say it, or how do you evaluate my Well, uh, this is a good program. <laughs> uh, I don't want to waste time to start talking because when I start talking, it never finishes. I think uh, I would like to give uh, the opportunity for the students, our students from uh, to ask questions if they have any. But if nobody asks questions, then I will start talking. So don't worry, we will fill out the time. But maybe, yeah, we can talk about many things. So sometimes, yeah. Okay, Shinglin, what would you ask? What would you, okay, I, I'm starting to ask you then. 
Xinglin as a, a pre present student, what would you say to the future incoming students? Um, okay. Um, I would say, yes, it's really a uh, great programs. Uh, not only we have uh, very um, good uh, teachers here, professors here, but also we can meet um, the students and from all around the world. And it's quite an amazing journey if you uh, want to join us. And, and also, uh, like uh, prof Professor Daniel uh, mm, talked about before, that we have uh, uh, great uh, networking systems and also we have a different act academic conference. Um, like the, the most impo important one is the Financial Equality Conference, which is, uh, uh, happens on a uh, yearly basis. And we um, can have an opportunity to meet the, the scholars from the, all around the world and talk about some uh, very, uh, uh, very, very important uh, issues in, in the financial sectors and, uh, and the financial academic uh, uh, sectors. And uh, also, yes, uh, uh, we're talking about that we can have an uh, opportunity to um, to work um, as an intern in the in the financial sectors in those uh, financial institutions, um, which is uh, which is uh, which is a very uh, good uh, experiences for you. If you have time, if you can manage your time and to balance your work and your study, and uh, yes, you can apply your uh, theoretical theoretical knowledge to your uh, workplace. And uh, also to know about some um, colleagues from the financial sector who are uh, working there for many years, and you gain some experiences and knowledge from them, which is also quite um, quite quite amazing and quite uh, and useful uh, experiences. And so, all in all, I, I think um, this program is. Uh, quite useful for me and also provide me a lot of uh, opportunities and uh, uh, a, a, a big platform for me to access to uh, the people uh, from the not only the academic, Finnish academic uh, sphere or and also the practical uh, sphere. So I think, yes, if you want to join, uh, it is uh, uh, it's, it's a right choice. Yes.